Here's the airport fit for today. 444. Four, four. Got it on my booty too. And then I have my little Adidas shoes on. This is how Jay is carrying his suit around right now. <laughs> Connected to it. That seems so annoying hitting the backs of your legs every time. It's not. An innovative king. <laughs> I could have loved you longer. Key address for you. Push it We made it, but our bags did not make it. So we're heading to have some Mexican instead of going to the welcome party. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's loco. Loco. Loco burrito. I love loco for a burrito. <laughs> love doing life with you, baby. I love doing life with you. We just got Big Apple Bagel and I have not had Big Apple Bagel in years. And they started doing gluten-free bagels. They're obviously quite thin. We'll report back soon. But this was just a childhood staple. So I'm excited. And it's Jay's first time having. Wearing the green dress. Unfortunately, it's like incredibly wrinkly very quickly, even though I just steamed it. And I'm doing the gold heels and my little gold clutch. The hair, I'm kind of leaving a little bit curly still, and then I'll run my hands through it. But the makeup is complete. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Just kind of my everyday glam. I don't really have a more glam makeup look. They all kind of look the same. <laughs> all right, vlog, check this man out. I am obsessed. Looks so good. Give us a little 360. Yeah. He looks so good. Handsome man. Down to the shoes. Magnani, suit supply, suit supply, suit supply. Costa. Good old Costas. Good morning, happy Saturday. The wedding was so much fun. We're about to go get some movement in here. I smell a little walking fit this morning. And then we have the day to us. Last night was literally such a good wedding. It was so perfect, so beautiful. Holly looked stunning in her dress. 
I was telling Jay, that's like exactly what I envisioned in my mind of what her wedding dress is gonna look like. It was just so her and it was like lace, super detailed, girly, perfect, low back. She looked amazing. Also, every detail of that wedding, I obviously did not like vlog or get any videos there, but you can just trust me. And when she posts about it and everything, it was literally perfect. When you say every detail they thought of, there were like flags going into the wedding that had their names on it and everything, like All literal. Right down to the koozies. Yeah, the koozies were insane. Like everything was so perfect. Like the little like stick things that go in your drinks. What are those even called? I don't even know, cocktail stick things. Those were so cute. I mean, everything. Everything was like branded exactly how their invites were. So everything was like cohesive from their invites to every detail at their wedding. It was gorgeous. And they just seemed like they have such fun and awesome friends and family so it was it was such a fun night but now we kind of have a free day to us so we'll see what we get into another day another big apple bagel <laughs> makes me want to redo our whole entire front yard with hydrangeas. How gorgeous is this? Do these even like survive in Florida? I don't, I don't ever see anyone with them hardly. They are so pretty. Got some fish tacos. They have so many dairy-free, gluten-free options here. Their hummus was absolutely insane. We ordered more pita to have for that. And then Jay got this fish Caesar salad and that looks delicious too. Yum! Got some iced vanilla lattes, of course. Here is my outfit for dinner tonight. And I'm doing, honestly, this makes me look like I have the longest torso ever. Maybe it's built for people that have longer torsos because it comes down like way past my hip bones. And then I'm gonna do this little purse from L Space, I believe. And then these shoes are from Ray. I believe it's Ray the label, but maybe not. Ray, I got them off for Rolf. Grabbing some Cali after our flight back here. I did a little takeout order. Got some of their avocado hummus. That is so freaking good. I also got the Mexican bowl. This is my go-to. And then I added corn this time. Ooh, does it feel good to be home? We made it home a couple hours ago and just been, I haven't even unpacked or anything. I think I'm gonna put that off until tomorrow, but about to jump in the shower. I'm so glad we cleaned up the house before we left because we got to come home to a nice clean house. And although I should probably start my laundry, I'm not sure if I'm going to, <laughs> um, but we had such a good time in Michigan. I actually got there, my camera's at 2%, which I hardly ever do when I'm traveling, without the charger so that was kind of a bummer but i ended up getting a lot of clips on my phone and i also didn't vlog while i was at the wedding so that was pretty much a big part of why we that was why we were there so big part of when we were there um i wasn't vlogging so sorry it was brief and hopefully i still got like some cute little memories while we were there but let's shower and wind down
all nice and clean and in my cozy earth PJs. Are these just not the cutest PJs in the world? Also an update on our AC, if you're wondering. It's like around 80 degrees in our house. It's been like a month of that. And a couple of y'all have asked what was going on. So our, we need a new part, I believe it's a new coil for our AC. And we have to go through, due to warranty and all of that, we have to go through the same um, company that installed our AC for the house, right? And it's been over a month. I think it's been almost or over a month um, of them saying that they ordered and they're going to escalate the order of the coil because sometimes it will be over 80 degrees in here. It's unbearably warm. Normally I wake up like a little bit sweaty and no wonder my sleep has kind of been a little rough because it's not chilly in here. And we can like use our AC, but we cannot go, we cannot even set it below like 75 degrees or else I think it either like freezes or something with the coil. Um, but even if we have it set at 75, it's normally 77 to 80 degrees in here, which is quite warm and I'm ready for that to be fixed. So we just get home and we're like, dude, the AC needs to be fixed. We call all the time about it and they're like, okay, we're gonna escalate your order. The last thing I really wanna do right now is laundry from the trip. I'm gonna be so glad that I did tomorrow. I should not feel nearly as accomplished as what I do for unpacking my bag tonight, but I'm gonna take that as a win because it was the last thing that I wanted to do tonight and my bag is completely empty. I got everything out and I am somehow feeling so tired. Anytime you have like a layover, we had a delay today, it just makes the day so long. Like I think our travel day ended up being like, I don't know, we woke up at five got back here around three. So that's kind of a long day. Take my contacts out and wear my glasses for the rest of the night. I'm gonna do my skincare, brush my teeth. It's only 8.08 .08 right now. I think one of the main reasons that I just did all of my luggage unpacking was because I needed my toothbrush. And I'm like, if I'm gonna do that, if I'm gonna go through there and just get my toiletry bags, let's go and do it all. Let's get everything out and so that I don't curse myself out tomorrow morning. A busy week this week. We actually are doing dance lessons, so that's exciting. On Tuesday, we start dance lessons, and we're only going to do a couple because we obviously are starting pretty late. We have a couple last-minute things that we need to do for wedding planning. Feeling good on everything. Just finished the seating charts tonight i like input it i like put everything into excel tonight and then i just have some work things i need to do we're home all week so it's going to be a week of productivity work i think my second round like my second phase i think i'm gonna call it phase two of the bridal boot camp is going to be complete tomorrow i am like just finishing touches on it right now and then we'll get that launched and just some online coaching stuff this week, but it's gonna be a busy week for sure. I have to get like some alterations done, some errands that I need to run, and I feel like I just have like random calls. Like I think I have like six or seven calls in the next couple days, so it's gonna be a busy couple days. Going to be double cleansing. Here's what I used first from Zio Skin Health. And then next I go in with SkinCeuticals and this is the Glycolic Renewal Cleanser. It has been almost a full week. Tomorrow will be a full week since I got that um, Moxie and BBL laser on my face. And my skin still feels very much so like sandpaper but not nearly as much. So I'm hoping that in the next couple days, my skin starts feeling normal. I did that like CO2 lift mask. If you ever heard of that, I um, definitely did a TikTok about it. I don't think I was vlogging it, but I might do another one of those um, just because it's supposed to help with hydration so much. Or I have like a sheet mask that I might do tonight. And it's one that you're supposed to sleep in and it ends up clear in the morning. 
my problem is you guys know my dilemma even with using a retainer at night i wake up and it's not there so it's very similar with things like that sometimes i can make it through the night with mouth tape but some nights i wake up and or some mornings i wake up and i don't have my mouth tape on or if i do heatless curls it's normally like halfway out in the morning or something but lately i've been able to sleep through the night so i might try that mask again last time i tried i woke up and it was like on the floor next to me eyes are burning. Hi. <laughs> Thought you were going to scare me? I didn't think you heard me. I heard you. How'd you hear me? You hear everything. Here's the mask that I was talking about that I'm going to try tonight and we shall see if I still have it on in the morning. It's cute, right? <laughs> it's actually terrifying. I briefly remember like in the middle of the night also good morning I remember it was probably around like 4 a.m. or so and I took my mask off because I had to go to the bathroom and I like got up looked in the mirror and it was like all sunk into my face how it wasn't white anymore and I wish I would have just kept it on because it would have been so satisfying seeing how glowy my face is this morning but for some reason I took it off then shocker but my skin looks insane. Like it looks so glowy. You know, I said that my skin still felt like sandpaper a little bit, hardly at all anymore. I think it just needed some like extra hydration. And Erin who did my laser, she's like, if you wait like about a week until you do like a bunch of um, masks or anything, that's probably enough time and your like skin probably won't feel as rough. And I think that's what it needed. It's so hydrated and glowy and looks Stunning. Threw on some active wear and I'm gonna do some, well first I'm gonna make a smoothie actually, and then I'm gonna jump on the treadmill and do some client check-ins on my computer. I went to bed pretty early last night, so I didn't knock out as many as what I would like to, and I'm gonna be working early this morning, and then hopefully we can get a lift in in a little bit, but work is coming first this morning. We have close to no groceries. I did not even have almond milk to use with this, so. I had to use water for my smoothie this morning. I think Jay might go to Sprouts for us once he gets back from his workout. So I'm gonna do a grocery list while I'm on the treadmill as well. And we need a full restock because we're here all week long. Hardly taste any different, honestly. Jay just got back with our sprouts, so let's do a little mini grocery haul. A big thing of eggs. I think I'm gonna do some eggs and toast before I go get my actual workout in. I just did four miles on the treadmill almost because I was on a roll. I'm like, typing away, I look up 3.92 miles, insane. And I'm only going a speed of like two to 2.5. So I knocked out so much and I will probably just have a little something to eat before I go get a real lift in. Thing of avocados frozen strawberries, a big old thing of spring mix. I have a tendency of letting this get bad, so I am on a mission this week to actually eat it. <laughs> Purple sweet potatoes, some chicken tenderloins. Jay and I both eat these, and I made the chicken salad last week. I am 1 million percent having that as my lunches for this week. It is so easy, and I feel like it tastes almost even better prepped afterwards, which there are a few meals that I like prepped because I normally get sick of them or like they don't taste as good afterwards. I got these fine ground sea salt crackers from Simple Mills I got to have with my chicken salad. A cucumber, I think I'm gonna include cucumber in my chicken salad this week and I also just like this with hummus, ground beef, holy ground beef because we go through it very quickly. So we have the 96 for ground beef from there. I've been liking this with um, sweet potato, some broccoli, and some barbecue sauce, or some like maple honey barbecue, which I need to get some more of that when I go to, um, to Whole Foods. Two things of milk for Ninja Creamies and also our smoothies. 
And I think that's pretty much everything. We still have some things left over, um, not really anything of our staples. So we got a restock on all of our staples, but we have like some sauces and all of those things that we need and like things in our pantry that I just got from Thrive Market. Got my Vivrel pick this month and look how fun this is. I always want to try like some crazier purses that I would probably get sick of after a little bit, but that's why I love doing Vivrel because I can have them for as little as just a month. And I thought this would be a fun summary one to have for the wedding week, possibly even the honeymoon if I don't get sick of it before then. But is that not so fun? A little Gucci bag with, what are these, hydrangeas on them? I think it's so fun and it's a pretty big purse. Like I can definitely fit my camera in this and I obviously could use it as a shoulder purse or just carry it like this and take the strap off. Brand new week, that means brand new grilled chicken for my chicken salad. Watch how easy this is. Ooh, this is still warm. I'm gonna do that much at a time. So Perfect. Having some chicken salad with my Simple Mills crackers. We are heading to our dance lessons. I think we're gonna be really happy that we decided to do this. Also, I must have just been lounging while Jay was driving and this is why my seat is so far back. But I think we're gonna be really glad that we did this and just feel like a little bit more confident on wedding day and not have the stress of like, obviously it's totally fine if you just like sway back and forth in dance lessons, but I think it would be fun, or during your first dance, but I think it will be fun to have an actual dance and at least like a couple moves that we feel are choreographed. Back from dance lessons, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with how well we did. And we're gonna have, I think we have, let's see, two more this week, a couple next week as well. And I think that's gonna be all that we're gonna do. But maybe I'll try and get some clips when we go back on Wednesday or Friday this week because I am obsessed with it. I'm so excited. I feel like we really killed it so far. We just did like the basics in the beginning, but it was so fun. So I'm gonna end off this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this little extended last couple days of my life, whatever it is. Uh, a little trip to Michigan. It was such a blast and kind of resetting today. So love y'all and I'll see you in my next vlog.